think of the render in place function as more a barcative form of bouncing clips. To learn more about the bounce selection function, take a look at the dedicated video I made covering that function. Rendering plates can be accessed from the Edit tab or by pressing the R key in your keyboard. Unlike the bounce selection function, rendering plates offers several different options of rendering that can be set up from the Render Settings dialog. Aside from accessing it from the Edit tab as mentioned, you can also open it by right-clicking a clip in your project while holding Control. Then go to Render and finally Render Settings. The pop-up dialog allows you to choose if the outcome will be just one file, separate files or different files within the same container. Below you'll find options to select points in the signal chain you'd like to include in your new file. Selecting Dry will cause the new file to be bounced to a new track with the same plugins and sends as the original. Channel settings will apply all plugins and sends from the original into the newly created files causing the new track to be empty. Complete Signal Path will include any group configurations such as plugins, automation and sends into the new file, and the new track will be outside the original group routed directly to the main stereo output. Finally, Complete Signal Path plus Master Effects is the same as exporting a track and re-importing it into your project. It applies all changes in the chain to the newly created file. Hope this helps, see you in the next video.